Hello and welcome to another ADHD Customs. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some custom rear lights on my T4 rat rod. So stay tuned for some really cool lights. They're really cool. Okay, let me explain here. For a while, now, I've got all of these lights, my mate gave me these, and I also went online and bought some Impala rear lights. And my plan all along was to make a hole here French in a plastic tube of some kind and then drop these into the hole or about here then I was gonna have two round lights here as well and the plan was to then paint these body colored match them in so the van looked like it had nice round interior lights because if you look at the back of the van everything on the van is done to a 1950s vintage vibe do you know what I'm saying so the rear lights would look really cool if they had like a round light in them I think it would go with a vintage vibe Anyway, the plan was to do what I've just said, make some vintage round looking rear lights out of these. But then I came across a set of lights on eBay that are quite rare apparently for the T4, which saves me all the hassle of doing only any of that. They've got their bigger, proper vintage look to them and they're gonna work so well with the vintage look on my van. So here we go, check these out. Ta-da! Right, they turned up in nice boxing. Check these out. Saves me a lot of messing around. Doesn't it? Yes. Look at these bad boys. Now, that is proper vintage looking. And this surround is what gets painted body color. So you turn it over, you undo that screw, that screw, that screw, and that screw. And then this whole surround comes off, enabling me to paint it the color of the van so it will blend in. So then the van will have these nice big vintage looking rear lights. So that is what's happening today. I'm going to be taking off these covers, sanding them down quickly, and then trying to paint match them to my van. I've got the, don't mind my cr trashed workshop. Um, I've got the right paint code for my van. The man couldn't scan it because of the linseed oil that's on the van before. So I've got to try and match this, but I think it's gonna be a bit brighter than my van because the amount of linseed oil that my van's had it on it over the years has kind of darkened it. So I might have to use some satin black that I've got somewhere to um, just feather over it and give them a sand and try and match the patina. So that is what, what is happening right now. Let's get to it. Okay, first things first. Let's, let's try and get these covers off by undoing these screws. I don't know how long these screws have been on there for, but let's get these screws off and um, take these covers off so we can paint them. That should come off now. There we go, surround off. So let's put these to one side start sanding these down. I'm going for quite a rough grit, 80 grit on these, because my van is all patinaed and scratched and rough anyway, it'll work quite well, so. I'm not even gonna bother priming them, because my van's patinaed. Any, if they go a bit nasty, it's fine, don't bother me. But I'm literally just gonna paint straight on these. by the magic of video, the other one's done already. So I've already shook this up for a while, giving them a wipe down, give them a quick spray. See, that's already a lot brighter than my van. I can already tell, a lot brighter. Hmm. Okay, right, I'm gonna let them dry, come back to them in a second when they're dry, maybe do another coat, let it dry. Actually, no, let's let it dry and let's go try it against the van to see if the colors are almost the same. Now I need to undo the three 
bolts that are behind here. Although I've got this bed build here. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping I can still get to them from behind. So I'm gonna get them undone with a deep 10 mil socket. And then once I've got the lights off, I will get back to you. A few moments later. Actually, I'll tell a lie, they're eight mil. Right, I've got these, at least three bolts, I've got these undone, but this light still won't come off for some reason. Um, I think it's because I've got this surround thing on, but it should just pull off. But um, yeah, this is not wanting to come. I'm gonna have to use a screwdriver to get this off. It's been on a while. Come on, there we go. Right, hang on, I'll put the camera down. One pair of pants later. Wow, well that was, un that was a nightmare to get off. So, you left this hole here. It must have been this weird glue. Oh, sorry, it must have been this weird glue. All right, now I'm gonna try out this new light to see if it actually works before I go through all this effort. All right, finally got the old ones out and the new ones in. Just testing the lights a minute. Top lights, top lights work, okay. Indicator test, indicators work. Yep, I've already tested reverse lights. Let's test brake lights now. Okay, we have brake lights. So, that all works. All I've got to do now is get the paint to match the body. That's going to be the tough bit. Right, look, as you can see, it's a very much lighter green than the rest of the van. So let's try to play around with some um, satin black and just give it a dust over, see if I can darken it down a bit. A few moments later. Okay. I don't have any satin black. Can't find any anywhere. I thought I had some black shoe polish because I'm going to lacquer over these at the end anyway. So just need to get them a bit darker. I'm even thinking about using engine oil <laughs> at the minute. Just try to figure out what I've got. So um, bear with me. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure out what I can use. Okay. This channel's about using whatever you can find. I found some um, black fabric paint. So let um, over the top, dust, dust over the top, just like that, and then I want to just rub it on, I want to rub it in, just to give that dark, that darkness to it. Rub it in, give it that grimy, dirty look. Try and get close to the dark colour as I can. Right, and then let's go see. How close this is. You know what? That ain't half bad. That ain't half bad at all. It's getting closer, isn't it? That ain't half bad. Right, I think a little bit more. And then scuff it all up. A little bit more and scuff it all up. I reckon that gives that a rub in and then give it a scuff up some paper. Scuff on the edges there, like that, down there. Give it a scuff up, just like the rest of the paint. Give them a scuff up like that. Let's get that going on that edge there. Get these lines going. Maybe even just get through a little bit there. Like that, there you go, look at that. Scuff there. Let's 
give these a try. Let's give them a try. I'm thinking that's pretty damn close, isn't it? That is pretty damn close. Look at that. That is pretty darn close. Right, it's time to let's put these lights back together and get them on. Right, let's get these back together. Which one goes where? That was. That is. Is that that one? That's that one. That one goes on that one. Cool. Right, let's get these back together. back in the van shall we <laughs> well there we have it lights are done do you think it's time for a little bit of a montage on the lunites i think so